2010 started with a huge question mark. For seven years, we had told everybody that with clean tech and renewable energy, we could achieve incredible things for the world in terms of getting rid of the dependency to oil and for solar impulse to fly night and day with absolutely no fuel. And we had not proven anything until that moment. So at the end of last year, uh, we have to remember that we did what we call the flee-up. It was the first time that this airplane was first taxi on the runway to see if we could steer it and the first time that the airplane uh, could take off uh, for only 300 meters, only half a meter above the runway. And so the decision was taken to move this airplane from Dubendorf to Payen. That's what we did in January of 2010. So in 2010, there was everything to prove. So you can imagine the pressure we had on our shoulders when we started the first test flight. On April 7th, 2010, early in the morning, the test pilot could make the first flight. An hour and a half duration, and basically a training for the test pilot to prepare himself to make the first landing. So the suspense was immense during this an hour and a half until the airplane safely landed on Payan runway. plane has flown. It has flown very well, but without solar energy. It was only to test the structure and the flight controls. So in terms of our airplane, we had proven something. In terms of our message, we hadn't proven anything at that time yet. When we successfully did the first flight, we had to do two things. First, we discovered a certain number of uh, instabilities in flight which had to be corrected. The second one was to start to train, in fact, for the uh, ultimate goal of HPSIA, which is the flight through the night, a flight day and night. The moment of truth, the moment of credibility, that was, of course, the night flight. We were dreaming of that moment since so long, and here we were. We hope for a long and boring day. Hey, Andre, the, the whole team is ready. You are clear to proceed, Andre. Have a good flight. Okay, and yeah, uh, according to the ground speed of 8 knots, there's nothing more to do than just climbing on the front line. But uh, providing power to the third generator, it was very special, you know, that the moment I think that everybody has been waiting for since uh, When I took off with the solar impulse on this July 7th for the night flights, we took off not with battery fully charged. Uh, it was sufficient uh, to achieve the takeoff. Uh, the battery were charged the day before using uh, the solar generator and the sun, which was available outside of the, uh, of the hangar. But what was a fabulous experience and feeling was to see that I could fly, I could climb, and I climbed to uh, about 9,000 meters. Uh, during this day and at the same time I could recharge fully the batteries. So more I was flying, more energy I had in this airplane.
for the entire day, the sun gave enough energy to run the engines and to load the batteries. And for the entire night, the plane flew on the batteries. It was a huge emotion, I have to say. We had achieved what we wanted to achieve as the first milestone. So of course it will always stay in my heart as one of the most important moments of my life. Hey guys from the team, you can all count together. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, go! We made it, guys! André, on vient de terminer le compte à rebours. Omega, toute l'équipe t'applaudit, on a réussi, tu as réussi, on est extrêmement fiers de toi, c'est absolument fabuleux ce que tu as accompli. We made it through the night, exactement, c'est extraordinaire, quoi. And the next morning, a new cycle started. So we could have flown forever on that day. We just decided to come down because we had proven what we had to prove. And the prop area kept clear for an engine on it. Uh, but of course, when you have achieved that, you always uh, start to think about, you know, what could I do next? And uh, we were invited by uh, first Zurich Airport and Geneva Airport to land uh, there. And we thought this would be a very, very interesting experience for the team, for the pilots, for the entire organization to see uh, if we could make it. I mean, if we could bring such a complex and special airplane on an international airport with a lot of traffic, with, with a lot of constraints, with a lot of restrictions. We did two flights, two days. This was also very, very special. First going to, uh, to Geneva, flying over the lake of uh, Lac Léman uh, at quite a low altitude also to present the airplane. And from what I heard, from what we heard, uh, I think people were extremely emotional by seeing this airplane uh, flying, flying low, uh, flying with no noise and powered only by, uh, by solar energy. The Swiss flight had an additional goal that was very important for the delivery of our message. We wanted to touch the teachers, the schools, all the people responsible of the education in order to announce the launch of our educational program. That means these uh, uh, conferences, these speeches that we want to do with André live through the internet to motivate children in the field of pioneering spirit, in the field of experimenting new ways to think about the future, about energy, about the environment, and also to launch that new educational section on our website. So, as much the night flight was about reaching a huge goal about demonstration of energy savings and renewable energies, as much the Swiss flight was a way to touch the population and to be closer to the people who would receive this message. We made a nice end of 2010 launching a book about Solar Impulse, having a 52-minute documentary about Solar Impulse so I think it's a nice firework to finish the year before the next year, 2011, which is going to be really tough. Uh, we start now the design of the HPSIB. That's quite a huge work because we really want to have the 
best and the, the optimum airplane for the long-term missions, I mean the flight around uh, the world and potentially the flight over the, uh, over the Atlantic. And uh, in parallel we are preparing the mission of next year. Uh, we plan to uh, go to some major cities within Europe, uh, not totally defined yet, but that's also something now which is bringing a lot of excitement within the group. So, very nice suspense to come.